Hi friends, it is household makeover day. So today I'm gonna to be talking about some things that have helped us throughout our whole household. And then as we go through the week, we'll be taking a stop in our kitchen, our bathroom, and our laundry room to talk about what products our family chooses to use in there. And hopefully that'll help you to decide um, if you need to look at what products you're using in your own home or if you're good to go with the products you're using in your own home. I just want to give you some ideas and let you know what has been working for us. Um, so I was trying to think about what things have made the largest impact on our family's overall wellness. And I came up with three things that might not be what you expect. The first one is changing our mindset. So changing our mindset and trying to be more proactive about our health rather than reactive, I feel like has made a big difference. Also reading labels. Um, as we started being really careful about reading labels and scrutinizing everything that we brought into our home, whether it be products for cleaning, products for skincare, putting on our body, um, food that we're bringing into our home, Reading labels has made a huge difference, and we've taught our kids how to read labels too. So they'll point out things to me like, hey mom, this has a little too much of this, don't you think? Um, so they will automatically flip boxes over, flip packages over, read the labels and see what is inside because they are learning what ingredients are safe for us and what are not. Um, and the third one is asking questions. So just asking questions and digging a little deeper, wondering about the safety of all the things that we have in our home. My goal in all of this is not perfection, but just doing better as we know better. So as we're learning, we're changing and doing better, making better choices. I cringe when I think about the products that we used on our boys when they were little, the products that we used in their home, when, in our home when they were little, um, and even up to a few years ago, um, just the things that we're using that I thought were healthy for us at the time and learned later that they absolutely weren't. But I was making the best choices that I could at the time with what I knew at the time. Um, and as I asked questions and dug deeper and learned more, I changed things up. Then I would ask more questions, dig a little deeper, learn more, change it up again. And I'm still learning and making changes and just always trying to, always with the goal of minimizing the number of toxins in our home. I know I know we can't get rid of all of them, um, but minimizing the number of toxins that we're exposed to in our home um, is my goal and just uh, adjusting as we learn more about it. Um, a question that I have gotten a lot recently is, I am interested in learning about all this stuff, but where do I start? Okay, because it just seems like a big old mountain of, of stuff to change and it's hard to know where to begin. Um, there are a couple things you can do today to get some toxins out of your home. And um, some are a little quicker than others, but you can do them today. You can start taking your shoes off inside your home. So we, for years, have been leaving our shoes at the door, asking guests to do the same. If you think about everywhere your shoes walk when you're out of the home, you're in public bathrooms and doctor's offices and hospitals and um, walking through fertilizer and pesticide and the grass and then that, that stays on your shoes and comes all through your home and gets stuck in the carpets um, and then as you're walking around your bare feet or you're um, or you're like lying on the floor playing with kids that kind of thing or if they're lying on the floor those toxins are getting absorbed into your body so that's one thing you can do starting today um, another thing is to, this might not be a fan favorite, and it's something I need to work on myself, so this is a reminder to me, is to dust and mop regularly. Um, and then dust that settles on everything. There are toxins from all the things that are off-gassing in your home. They collect in the dust, and then they're on all your surfaces. So if you're dusting and mopping that away, um, you have a healthier environment for your family. You can toss your dryer sheets. If you're using dryer sheets, I would suggest tossing them today. Even if you really like the scent, I would get rid of them. Um, we're going to be talking more about that on Friday when we visit our laundry room, so I'll just leave it at that for today. Um, and you can 
toss, sorry, I have a new throw a lot of things out today. You can toss everything that you use for fragrance, and I'm talking about synthetic fragrance. So air fresheners in your car or in your home, plugins, sprays, scented candles. This is a big one because I was all, all about the scented candles uh, many years ago, all about it. Um, but they are one of the worst things for your health. So um, my suggestion to you would be to get rid of those scented candles today. And just doing those four things will get rid of a, a whole host of toxins in your home just in one sweep. Um, but if you are looking for a healthy swap for those scented candles, if it's if you are just looking for the light and the cozy ambiance from them, uh, you can try Himalayan salt lamps and they actually offer some health benefits themselves and they're super cozy just a really nice glow to them um, you can do some battery oper operated candles we have those at home too um, if you are set on candles i would go for the beeswax candles because they actually offer some health benefits too as far as purifying the air um, so when we have a couple of actual candles in the home and they're all pure beeswax if you're looking for more of a scent, um, diffusers with essential oils are a good way to go. Uh, we have diffusers in every room of our home. We can change them up, change up the scent depending on what we're going for. Um, and it's a, as long as you're using a good quality essential oil, that is a way to get some health benefits and change up the scent. So you, you get the health and the scent, all that you're looking for without the harmful stuff from the scented candles. So those are a couple of big places to start. Another um, area where I would I would focus on is looking at your household cleaners. So we switched over years ago. We have one household cleaner that we use for everything in our home. And before I go into that a little bit more, um, I just want to share a little bit. We have to chat a little bit about essential oils. If you know me at all, you know I am I'm an essential oil girl. They play a big part in our lives and they have for several years. And most of the products I'm gonna be sharing this week um, actually come from the same company as our essential oils. And a lot of them are infused with the essential oils. So you kind of need to know a little bit about the quality of the oils that are going into all these products before you understand how good these products are. <clears throat> and I have to say, since all of our stuff basically comes from the same company and I trust in the quality. <clears throat> it's very freeing. I, I don't have to spend time researching and checking on all the ingredient lists and all that. I know it's a good quality. I know it's a good company. I just get it all in one place. So talk about the easy bun for our family. Um, I had a friend and the company that we use is Young Living. I had a friend recently ask me why I ended up choosing Young Living over all the other essential companies that are out there. Um, because when I started, I, when I started using essential oils, I just grabbed some from the grocery store. They were inexpensive and they all had great claims on their labels. So I thought they were all the same and just went with the one that cost the least, or the least, right? Seemed to make sense to me, to me at the time. But as we know better, we can do better. Since then, I've learned that there's a lot of adulteration in the essential oil industry and most of those that you see in the store are full of synthetic harmful chemicals. So as you're trying to adopt a healthier lifestyle and switch to things that are healthful for you, um, a lot of those essential oils are not. You're actually introducing more toxins into your body, which is the opposite of what you're going for. And here's the kicker. Even if those essential oils say pure 100% essential oil, or 100% pure essential oil, they're not. <clears throat> there are actually no regulations on those labels. The terms um, natural, pure, therapeutic grade, 100%, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. Um, there are no regulations on those labels. So essential oils can slap anything that they want. Essential oil companies can slap anything they want on those bottles and it essentially means nothing. So that was eye-opening as I started to learn that. Um, so the reason why there are a bunch of reasons, but these are the main reasons why we ended up uh, going with Young Living and sticking with them for the past probably three and a half years. They <clears throat> are the only company that owns their own farms that anyone can visit. 
they are the only company that have control over their seeds. They do the most testing at every step along the way um, out of all the essential oil companies. <clears throat> they actually have beyond organic standards, meaning that organic in farming means the land has been organic for seven years. Young Living has a standard of 50 years, 50 for all the farms that they use. So that was really important to me. <clears throat> um, they are one of the only companies that does not use fractional distillation. And fractional distillation is when um, some of the heavier molecules are removed from the essential oils. <clears throat> what that does is um, kind of makes the scent a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit sweeter. Um, so it might be more appealing to more customers, but then you don't get the the center the full synergy and therapeutic value or benefit from that essential oil because some of it has been removed so you don't you're not getting the benefit of all of it the full true botanical um, so young living does not do that you get the full therapeutic benefit because they're using the true botanical with all of their oils <clears throat> and they distill right on site so um, the, so Young Living is the only company that meets all of that criteria and that was all really important to us as a family. Um, so I was drawn to them for their integrity, transparency, and quality of their oils, but what I did not know at the time, I mean I thought they were all essential oils all the time and that was it. What I did not know is that they also have a whole cleaning products line, they have a personal, all personal care products makeup, supplements, CBD oil. They have over 600 products and all of the products are made with the same integrity as quality and quality as their essential oils. So I wanted to share that with you because um, like I said, a lot of the products I'll be sharing um, are infused with these essential oils or at the very least come from you know, living and um, you know, when you're reading labels and trying to figure out what is safe for your family, you want to make sure you want you trust the source, and I absolutely do with this company. So I just wanted to share why that is so important to me. So the um, <clears throat> cleaner that we use for everything in our home, from windows to floors to counters to toilets to um, our laundry uh, to our dishes, I mean, we use this for everything. There is we use it in our car. There has not been a surface that I found that this does not work on is Thieves Household Cleaner. And when I finish with this video, I'm going to put a sway in the comments. So that will give you some more information about this and about all these things I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I won't go into all the details about all the ingredients, but I will just say this. It has water, four ingredients that are derived from plants, and Thieves Essential Oil Blend which is one I touched on a little bit last night. My mom won that to go along with her car diffuser. It's a blend that has clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, rosemary, and eucalyptus radiata. And if you Google those individual oils, like benefits of clove oil, benefits of lemon oil, you will see what a powerhouse blend that is. And <clears throat> that is in here as well. So that's it, water, four plant-based ingredients, and plant-based essential oils. Um, everything in it is plant-based, biodegradable, and from a renewable source. What I love is that my boys can clean with this. They can grab the spray bottle and spray away. I don't have to worry about them breathing it in. I don't have to say, like, open a window, you have to air it out. It doesn't, actually breathing it in, the essential oil blend in here, actually gives us health benefits. So not only is it not harmful to us, we actually have health benefits from using it. Um, I don't have to worry about them putting gloves on. We don't wear gloves to clean in our house um, because it's okay if it gets on our skin. It is not something that's gonna be toxic once it gets in our body. Um, no Mr. <laughs> I'm dating myself a little bit here, but no Mr. Yuck stickers required, right? Like um, I don't have to call 911 if someone touches this or you know, if, if Maybe if a little kid took a sip, I wouldn't recommend offering this as a beverage, but um, you know, it's not 
something that is deemed poisonous or anything like that, like many of the other cleaners, many of the others have warnings on there. If ingested, call 911, call poison control. Um, there are no warnings like that on this label because it's all plant-based. It is safe for pets. So as your pets are walking around, their pads on their feet are very absorbent. And any of the cleaners that you're using are going right into their bloodstream as well. So this is safe for pets. It's also very cost effective. So this may look like a teeny tiny little bottle, and it is, it's a tiny bottle, but it's a concentrate. So to make a 16 ounce bottle like this, you just use one cap, it's half an ounce, so one cap full of this cleaner, take it off right now, um, and then you fill the rest with water. And that's it, so one bottle of this makes 29 bottles like this, which comes out to be 78 cents per spray bottle. How cool is that? So it's easy, it's safe, it's cost effective. I mean, this is a winner in my book. So we've been using this for years and love it. And it works. Um, we've had a lot of success cleaning with it or else we wouldn't have stuck with it for so long. Um, my brother was just telling me a story about cleaning his glass doors in his shower, which usually give him a really hard time and take a lot of time, a lot of elbow grease and he decided to use some thieves cleaner on them and he said it was a breeze he just wiped it right off easy um a friend of mine was just telling me that her daughter spilled something on a fabric chair and she thought the chair was a goner but um she decided to see how thieves cleaner would do on it worked great they were able to save the chair so um you know so this is a great one to have and it's just it's something that we use throughout our whole home so we've gotten rid of a whole cabinet of toxic cleaners and just replace it with this one. Um, like I said, we use it on all the surfaces and you will see it pop up as we talk, as we go through our kitchen and our laundry room oops, and bathroom this week and I share what products we're using. You're going to see this come up in all of the rooms because we use it for everything. <laughs> um, and the best part is that it doesn't have anything in it that our bodies are needing to fight off. So. I can appreciate that. Um, that is it. That's all I had for you today. But I'm when I finish up here, I'm going to add the sway in the comments. So that'll have a lot more information that you can read through if you want to find out more about this stuff. And I look forward to seeing you tonight for the giveaway. Don't forget to add a comment below because then you get another chance to win what I'm giving away tonight. Have a great day, everyone. Oh, hey, Lisa. I just saw you pop on here. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.